Hello, River Valley families. First of all, thank you for your children. Uh, we sure enjoy spending time with them. And overall, I think you're doing a great job of raising them. I always tell everyone we have the best kids in Grants Pass at River Valley. So thanks for all you do uh, with your children and as a family. You may be thinking, okay, how do I survive with all the kids home? Uh, how about earplugs and sedatives? No. Uh, let's use this time to really be creative and get to know our kids a little bit more, get to know ourselves as a family a little bit more. I just put some ideas together I thought I'd share with you. Uh, maybe some things that I did growing up or our family did uh, as now they're mostly all out of the household. So um, one thing that's online, if you go to kids audiobooks, there's great audiobooks online. Some have pictures that go with the reading, others just have the reading. In fact, I was just listening to The Hobbit the other day and it's dramatized. So it's really a cool time to let them uh, listen online as well. Afterwards, hey, how about drawing a picture of what you heard? Lego projects, we used to say, okay, we're going to the moon, everybody build a spaceship. So we'd all build a Lego spaceship and then we'd talk about our spaceships and ask each other, okay, what, was, what does this do and how does this work? And it's interesting what kids uh, already have in their minds or what they've created on their spaceship and uh, just uh, making a spaceship along with them. And they asked mom and dad about their spaceship as well. Uh, making a fort in the living room. Oh my goodness, that was one of our favorite things. Uh, we'd make a fort, you know, a couple folding chairs and a blanket, make a wall. And then we'd get our sleeping bags and we'd spend the night in the fort. And by the way, if you want to buy a couple of bags of mushroom, uh, marshmallows, uh, you can have a, a marshmallow snowball fight at the same time with one fort to another. So lots of fun things. Another thing we would do is bake cookies or do some kind of a baking project. I know one time we all made chef's hats out of uh, construction paper and we all wore chef hats as we put a lasagna together. Uh, just some fun things. Be silly, especially you, Dad. Uh, kids love to see Dad silly. Uh, design an obstacle course. We would do that and then time each other as crawling or jumping and running through it. Uh, we'd also uh, sing songs and then we'd make up songs. Uh, so we'd use like a familiar tune like she'll be coming round the mountain when she comes and then we would put words to it whether it was a family situation or even create things. I actually put one about Fido, uh, Fido here. Fido's barking at the possum in our yard. Fido's barking at the possum in our yard. Fido's bark barking at the possum. He's chased it down. He's awesome. Fido's barking at the possum in our yard. Fido's, then you be creative with the rest. Anyway, a lot of fun. And then when dad got home or mom gets home, we'd sing him the song and just all laugh together. A nature walk, that was another thing. Mom would make a list of things for us to find outside. And then we'd all go outside and find these things. And we had a real simple microscope that we put the items that we found under the microscope, or if you just have a magnifying glass and magnify them and talk to the kids about nature and different things going on there. That's a lot of, of fun as well. Uh, another thing we have Easter coming up. So the Easter story, obviously any of the gospels, putting that together, maybe a segment a day until up to Easter. And then, hey, let's draw a picture about your favorite part of the story today and then let's color it. And, uh, and then share about why we picked that part of the story to draw a picture about. So lots of different things uh, you can do as a family. Uh, keep in mind, Satan means these things for evil, but my, God means them for Yes, you got it, we're good. Uh, in closing, um, I have just some information about our online resources. So if you go under ministries, click kids, you're gonna see resources, open up the resources and you're gonna find pre-K, which is faith kids. Then you're gonna find uh, our Calico Street, which is truth kids, K for three, and then kids for Christ, which is fourth and fifth grade. They all have drop down boxes underneath them. You'll see a craft page. You'll see the teacher lesson, and that would be the lesson mom or dad that you would take and teach the kids. And then the children's resources are there. There's craft, also the take home, which would be your uh, weekly uh, interaction with the kids. So all that's there. We put some extra things in there. If you see a craft, you open it up. It doesn't have a craft. It has something else. It's because we didn't have a craft for that week. Uh, but we've added some other items in there that are printable. So please go on there and use those resources. They're gonna be updated every week. 
they'll have the current week and the last week's resources on there for you if you miss a week. So don't feel like uh, the children aren't going to have their morning Sunday school time. Uh, create it for them. And you can probably be more creative than we can because you know your kids better than we do, what they love to do, what they like to do. So use this time, uh, grow as a family, love each other, and uh, mom and dad, you get some time together as well. So that's always beneficial when we think of uh, love never fails. That's one of the keys for all families and time together, time that maybe you never had before that you do now. Uh, don't waste it being anxious or having anxiety. Use it uh, knowing that God is in charge and he has a plan for you and it's planned to prosper. God bless you all. Pastor Chuck signing off.